Hello, everybody. I am Dr. Dan Cardalicchio. I am your host of Destination Health, Finding Function in a Dysfunctional World. We're going to get right into it today. We have a very special guest, Dennis Stoika. Dennis, thank you very much for being on our show. Thanks for having me. I greatly appreciate it. And I look forward to uh, our next uh, 45 minutes or an hour that we have together. Appreciate it. Yeah, this is going to be great. Listen, it's, it would take me 40, literally, I mean, all of our listeners, it would take me 45 <laughs> minutes to an hour just to read Dennis's credentials. So I'm just going to briefly read, okay, what I have here. Dennis Stoika specializes in reality-based self-defense, grappling, firearms, functional fitness, nutrition, coaching, facilitating and speaking, has been a federal law enforcement officer since 1998 and is a former police officer and a United States Marine. Thank you very much for your service to our country. A modern era warrior is America's number one integrated warrior training. Dennis Stoika has combined commando, Krav Maga, which I've studied in part, and combat submission Gracie Brazilian Jiu Jitsu into the most complete self-defense system designed to prepare any individual for real combat in the shortest time possible. And let me tell you something, everybody, that is not even scratching the surface of what this gentleman has accomplished. Master's degree, bachelor's degree. Welcome, Dennis. It's a yeah, pleasure. Thank you so much. I uh, greatly appreciate that. Um, uh, th that just ages me a little bit, right? Um, <laughs> with, with it, uh, and, oh. and, and actually, it actually leads, Dan, to, to um, growth. And if you continue to work um, like my book that's going to be coming out soon, 1% Better Every Day in Every Way, The 1% Warrior, um, everybody throughout their whole life uh, will be able to achieve a whole lot of greatness. Um, you just need to keep on getting at it and, uh, and work. So. Yeah, and I do believe your book is coming out very soon. So uh, we were discussing that before we came on. Uh, Dennis is going to send me a copy in our next podcast. Hopefully in about a month, we're going to discuss his book. So I'm looking forward to that. So Dennis, Modern Era Warriors, what is that business? What is that for you? Yeah. So that is, that is my passion. Uh, that is a, a part-time business that I have. Uh, we're in year 13. Um, it's integrated warrior training. So what is integrated warrior training, I think, would be the question then, right? And so um, it is holistic training. So instead of someone going to just a gym, whether it be a gold gym or anytime fitness or whatever gym or a yoga studio or a martial arts place um, or getting some coaching, uh, mentoring, uh, uh, we, we are a very holistic uh, business. We are working on the entire self versus one aspect of somebody for growth. So when, when you are working with a coach um, to identify topics, to identify your why, your purpose, your passion, your principles, um, and, and then you, you use strategies, tools, and practices to push those, accelerate yourself, right? So within maybe six months, uh, you can gain, you know, a year's worth, years worth of time, right? And so we're, we're better able to accelerate ourselves. And we use... Uh, the Krav Maga, the self-defense, the fitness, uh, nutrition as well, right? Very important. Uh, that, we, that, that we incorporate uh, into our training, the yoga, breath work, meditation, movement, journaling. All of this becomes a holistic way um, to grow ourselves 1% better every day in every way. Uh, I'm in, I've been involved in other coaching programs. I'm sure some of your listeners have had coaches in the past too, whether it's a, a coach they've had just for football in high school or sure. you know, some, some sport in high school or college or uh, in, a, in their career at some point, something, right? Uh, the bottom line is um, we're all about treating the whole person, not a single aspect. I think that's important. And for our listeners, when you say the entire self, when you say journaling, breath work, meditation, can you expand more on that? So that can be overwhelming and a lot for people too, right? So I, right. I want to make sure I, I want to make sure I hit that, right? So I don't, you know, no one walks in the door on day one and they're thrown the wolves, right? <laughs> so right. <laughs> uh, I, I, one thing that I can, a good coach is going to feed a client, right? A, a person that uh, is studying underneath them, um, uh, 
enough of the sandwich to take enough bites that they can actually take, right? That they can ingest. So everything's not thrown at you all at one time. Um, but um, to, to, to look at what we do, um, it's, it's very important to actually understand, I need to work on what's most important to me. And, uh, and, and the coaching aspect, we start with small things like a, da a daily ritual or an AM ritual for people, and then we build on from there. So when you talk Does that about answer it, your question, I think yes, I, I it does. It and and, and when you're yeah. when you're talking, because I have a morning ritual, I'll, I'll get up and I stretch. Okay, I, I have a bad back. <laughs> I'm a chiropractor, and I have a really bad back. Some some orthopedics they want to fuse several levels, and I'm not I'm not ready for that because I'm I'm still way too active. You know, I'll get up, I'll stretch. Um, I have a big glass of water. Um, and then right. I'll, I'll, I'll start journal, journaling and there's some meditation in, involved yeah. and then there's some box breathing involved. When you, you talk you, about, you got a good rhythm. Sorry to interrupt you. That's a good rhythm. Good. Go ahead. It, yeah. it is. And, and, mm -hmm. and, you know, and maybe I'll, I'll do, you know, maybe some core work at that point if I have some time, you know, to get my day ready. And I feel like I'm ready for today. When you talk about journaling specifically, what does that mean? If, when you have a client journal, what do you have them journal? So, so um, part of what we do is an integrated warrior training plan, mm -hmm. and um, we will identify um, different, uh, multiple different aspects uh, is what we look at. So one thing that we look at is the body. Within mm -hmm. the body, uh, so the four, four things that, four main things, and then it depends on whether someone wants to journal on a fifth or sixth thing, but it's the body, the being, right? relationships, balance in our lives. So body being balance, right? And then um, the fourth thing is, is business, right? And the body has multiple components. The body has your physical workouts. It has your nutrition. It has your diet. It has any illegal drugs that someone may take that, that your co a coach wouldn't even need to know about, right? Whether they're prescribed or not. Um, it has your sleep. And we're, you know, all this, right, is, is not just how often, but quantity and quality of sleep, mm -hmm. right? Sure. Um, so it has multiple aspects, the physical piece, the body, mm -hmm. and then the being has that spiritual, mental, and emotional well-being. So that could be journaling on, um, you know, do, did I do certain things? Like, am I meeting my morning ritual to do my yoga or breath work five days a week, let's just say, right? Um, am, I, am I doing yoga? Am I going to yoga class? Um, mentally, mm -hmm. emotionally. Um, mentally, um, I talk about having your personal PhD program. So what is that, right? Mental, there's, there's mental uh, control that we need to work on. So that can come through breath and meditation work as well and journaling certain things. Um, but I, one of the things I push is mental, your PhD program. So again, we should always be learning in life. And so whether that's uh, reading books, podcasts like this one, learn that's from, right? right? Um, uh, studying underneath someone, getting a coach, right? Um, all, going back to college, taking a, just a, 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 to get a degree or just a class, right? Um, it, it, we're, then we're also journeying on emotions. So um, how do I feel? Um, and then it, those things type of move to the last piece, right? Body being balanced. Balance is your mm -hmm. relationships. It's a relationship with yourself. You have to actually start with you. That's why you need an AIM ritual. That's why people should be working out eating healthy. And um, uh, I believe, in, and I know we're going to go more into coaches and mentors and communities of practice today, specifically as well. But uh, um, you need to journal on you, things that matter to you, where you want to grow. And um, uh, what is the next thing? What does your relationship look like with the we? There's the I, the we, mm -hmm. maybe you and your spouse. And mm -hmm. it, as you and your entire family, for example, um, you can uh, uh, broaden that to a business too, whether it's a, a group, I, maybe one of the employees, we, um, maybe me and my boss, and the mm -hmm. it as the team that we work on, right? So it's another coaching thing. But um, very important to journal the things that matter the most to us. And we identify those things with clients. So a, a person can identify what's most important with them it, two or three topics that someone should really be focusing on at the time. Um, and for example, that could be the business owner too, like body being balanced business. So, and that could be an individual that my business is just my home. It's my career. 
Um, it's what I do and how do I grow within that to set my mm -hmm. own financial goals, to set my promotions, to, to just continue to do better or even be happy where I'm at and figure out my training. Or if it's my actual business, if I'm an entrepreneur or mm -hmm. an entrepreneur, um, working for a large company as an executive, mm -hmm. um, what are goals that we have, right? And then we can talk more about goals being smart goals and, and other different uh, uh, ways to actually discuss uh, whether I'm working on the right thing right now, right? Or I should delay that and work, work later. That, that's probably, that'd be a good one for another podcast. Um, yeah, and, and, and this is all important. This is, and this is what a coach does. Now, I have a very specific question again uh, mm -hmm. about meditation. Why is meditation important? Because mm -hmm. I will tell you, uh, I've been practicing for a little bit over 30 years now. When I first got into uh, practice, I had um, uh, various uh, branches of the military that were patients of mine, and they were telling me how they meditate. And I never knew that. And coming, you know, where I come from growing up in, in Newark, New Jersey, and I'm going to get killed from this for all my buddies, you know, meditating, you know, is not what you did <laughs> at that time. What is the, what, when did you start meditating? What is the importance yeah. of meditation? So, so Dan, I, I will, I will second that, right? <laughs> uh, we're not that far in age. And, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. You that I, I believe that over the last 20 plus years, okay. Um, yoga within the United States has taken um, off. Okay. The, the, the problem though with yoga in the United States is that it's, and I'm going to get to your, me the meditation piece of your question, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm going to talk about yoga and, and it being part of the program. And so the bottom line is breath and breath meditation visualization is yoga. <laughs> and and that, that's, mm -hmm. that's where we come from. And if a client doesn't like yoga or use the term yoga, then fine. I won't use the term yoga. I said, then don't, then don't use it. Tell me when you breathe every morning, right? Right, right. <laughs> the problem in the United States, though, is that generally, if you go down the street to your yoga studio, you're working on asana, you're working on movement. And that somatic movement is amazing. We all should be, like, in your morning routine to help your back in the morning. Do some stretches, right? Mm -hmm. Having a glass of water, part of your AM ritual. This is fantastic for people, whether they want a midday ritual or use yoga as one of their workouts or just a few minutes a day before a harder workout. But the bottom line is, um, meditation helps us understand lots of different things about ourselves and how I feel. And it also, I, I don't want to, it's hard to have just a conversation on meditation because uh, Dan, I want to say this before anyone gets to meditation, I don't have a client that I bring on. Just like I said, a lot of different aspects of what we do, mm -hmm. they're going to get overwhelmed. I don't ask someone to meditate right away. So we first start with the breath. And we do box breathing. I, I mm -hmm. show them, I, first I show them how to actually breathe because mm -hmm. the average person um, is a shallow breather. Very important breathing. to learn how to, how to breathe. 100% agree. Through their mouth, yeah. So the, there's uh, all types of uh, um, great uh, benefits which come out from breath work, right? So um, I'm working my parasympathetic <laughs> nervous system, mm -hmm. right? Um, I'll come back to meditation. This is going to be absolutely, a, absolutely. The, the, long, the longer way to it though, right? We have to start with breath first because someone has to witness their thoughts in action. They have to actually meet their witness mm -hmm. before I actually can get to meditation. So what does that mean that I meet my witness? So when I sit and do breath work, I'm doing nothing but concentrating on breath. And by the way, um, so everyone understands, we, we've both said it a couple times, box breathing. Mm-hmm. A box breathing or called square breath is a, for example, a four second inhalation, a four second hold, a four second exhalation, and a four second hold again, all right? Mm -hmm. That's a quick example of what something uh, could look like, right? We'll take clients then we'll work on just their breath first because sometimes people have a hard time with that, believe it or not, right? You can mm -hmm. do, just do three parts where you eliminate the last hold. Um, there's all different types of way to breathe. We do tons of different types of breathing um, in, my, in my weekly classes mm -hmm. um, that I promote. So that, again, that brings on the witness. It brings on your thoughts of things that I'm thinking about. When I can better control uh, and go longer in my breath work without thinking of, oh my God, I got to make dinner when I get home, 
or anything else that's just popping in your head about tomorrow or this evening or today, right? What I just did the last hour. Those are all horrible things, right? Um, there's a place for that, right? But, when, right. but in, in, order to, in order to best understand, have more clarity in your life, make better decisions, um, and live happier, um, to knock down goals one after the next, I guarantee you, I guarantee, guarantee you, someone that actually incorporates breath into their life on a daily basis, even, in just, even if it's their morning ritual or throughout the day as a spot drill mm -hmm. or a workout, um, you will be able to make, you will have better emotional control. Very um, important. I totally agree. And, and then and only then can I work towards meditation and um, so last night in our class, we actually did a standing meditation. It was Qigong. Mm -hmm. So I don't do a lot of Qigong, but uh, I had yoga class last night. We do it every Wednesday. It's part of the curriculum. It's, it's incorporated every Wednesday night. People that want to come to yoga, get breath, movement, and meditation nightly, hour and a half. We, did, we finished with a 15-minute Qigong um, standing meditation. Um, why, why did we do a standing? And med by the way, meditation, we can, we can, we can talk deeply on meditation right mm -hmm. it can be moving meditation a walking meditation very mm -hmm. slow it can be by watching a candle um it can be on a specific topic right mm -hmm. it can be on a specific topic you can sit and meditate about emotion so one of the things that i do tremendously with clients uh, that i work with is actually um, when we get them to the point of meditation um if they're working on mental or emotional uh, pieces, aspects, right? Um, mm -hmm. It could be a physical, mental, emotional that they're working on, something spiritual that they're working on, right? Mm -hmm. Almost everyone's going to have something mental or emotional. And I, right. I, and I urge people to work on how, what type of emotion are you, are you talking about um, love, right. anger? And then you sit and not just with your breath, Right, but I'm, now I'm focused on something very specific and what that means to me. So right. meditation is kind of like the personal coach. Um, you can you can sit and meditate on a topic, right? And so um, that's a piece of what meditation can do for you. We can talk. I, 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 that was a fabulous uh, explanation. I, I, I yeah, I love that. I love that because uh, because meditation has become an important aspect of my life. I I, I think clearer. I, I, I have that more of emotional control. I can make decisions during the day better, quicker, more effectively, especially in business. So, uh, you know, I, there's pieces again. We don't, we don't jump to something if somebody can't do it or if it's, if it's down the line. And so I, yeah, I, I equate it again to eating a sandwich. I don't take one bite out of a sandwich, right? Mm -hmm. we, you know, or it might be very hungry for something as a client, right? We have to learn pieces, strategies, tools, and practices so we, where we have success in what we do, mm -hmm. no matter what that is, right? And um, that's why we start with the breath, and we get people to identify their why, their purpose, their passion, their principles, mm -hmm. and their ethos in life, right? And then we use meditation as one of those tools to help us achieve our goals. Knock down the dominoes, right. I say, right? Knock down right. those and, and you'll see uh, when you add meditation, and so by the way, um, I did not meditate uh, or do yoga in uh, you know, high school. Um, it, you know, no. <laughs> my, 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 time, my time, by the way, um, in high school or the Marine Corps, um, no, that, that stuff didn't exist, right? It didn't, right? I will, I will, I will say this though, right? On the physical piece, on the physical piece, it's awesome to be a young person today, why? Because when I went to high school and played football, most of my coaches were just teachers. They didn't have much training in certain things, right? Right. Today, we, we are years beyond that. Now we're seeing people have all different types of other training, even though they might be your, uh, your teacher in high school, but now they have other training. They have, they've obtained different things. Mm -hmm. um, co collegiate athletes today, very different the type of training that they're getting. So... Uh, I will say this right to all your listeners too. And so if they have not tried it, I will say try it, but don't just jump into meditation. You must find a good yoga practitioner at least, or some type of right. coach that incorporates this type of thing and work yourself there. But I will say all Olympic athletes 
professionals that like win the Super Bowl, right? Uh, for those of us that uh, watch football and some, mm-hmm. some other sport, right? Um, famous persons, presidents, right? Movie stars, uh, and, you know, actors, um, uh, entrepreneurs of, of the biggest banks, uh, pharmaceutical companies, IT world, et cetera, right? They are incorporating these types of things into their lives today. Um, yes. be- because it will bring out the best in you. And like my book is 1% better every day, the 1% word. It allows those persons to grow. Um, because if you're not helping yourself and spending time with yourself daily, you will not grow. And people need to commit to themselves on a daily basis, right? They need to invest in themselves right. in order to see growth. That is, that is, that is great. <laughs> I love that. And, and, you know, um, I, I look at, I look at all of this and I look at the meditation and, and it's been so beneficial for me. And I think it's a practice that at some point in time, you know, everybody can get into because you're visualizing, you can visualize your, 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 your future self as, as we call it, right? We can also, uh, you know, if you're a high school athlete, you can visualize the game. You can meditate on it and visualize the game. So, so, so vis- visualization is another aspect, right? So you have, um, we could go off on 50 different tangents just yeah. on this one alone, Dennis, right? That's vis- great. Vis- vis- visualization is even separate from meditation, right? So right. visualization can be, um, at winning in your mind. It could be, um, mm-hmm. going into a job interview and seeing yourself having success before it could be, uh, a hard conversation that you need to have with your son or your spouse, uh, or a parent. Right. Um, you know, it, it's a, it's about how it's going to go, right? Um, athletes can use that to prepare for their season, prepare for mm-hmm. a game. Um, anybody, anyone. What, what I love though, right? What I love about the coaching and meditation and, and, and a lot of what we talked about, it, it's for everyone. If you're willing to embrace it and try it, I guarantee you, if you stay committed to it, people, everyone, we're all the same. We'll see success in the end. We'll I see better... We'll see ourselves have uh, a better relationship with ourselves um, and uh, in different aspects of that physical, mental, emotional, spiritual well-being for yourself. And that bleeds into all relationships of your life with your kids and your spouse and your coworkers and your boss. Um, totally, and totally agree. I think that's I think that's a, I think that's a very important point for all of our listeners that uh, Dennis just made. Now, let's talk about what is reality based self-defense? Yeah. That's a great one. I love that. I love that. So I, I get, uh, you said you did some Krav as well. So that's awesome. My son and I, we have a uh, first stand in Taekwondo and we're working sort of towards our second. And uh, at the uh, TKD, uh, the Master Sonny, shout out to Master Sonny, he has certifications in Krav. And so awesome. there, were, there were Friday night classes in Krav Maga much different than any other martial art that I've trained with. And, um, you know, uh, movements are, are fast, quick. And um, I, 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 fell in, I fell in love with it also. So what is that reality-based self-defense? What is this Krav Maga? Sure. So, so, so reality-based self-defense is, is not your traditional martial art. Nothing wrong with traditional martial art. I right. also took traditional martial art in New Jersey, by the way, too, from there you you know, Tom Bryan, <laughs> he's a chief in Edison, New Jersey, um, still sold off his uh, martial arts business at this point. But after like, you know, 30, 40 years of whatever, practicing martial arts too, right? But reality-based self-defense, um, it, it's, uh, it's commando Kramaga is what I specifically teach, which is a reality-based self-defense. Uh, it comes from Israel. Mm-hmm. Uh, Krav Maga. It means contact combat in Hebrew. Um, and it, it is a very holistic, it's kind of like a mixed martial art. Um, so for those today uh, that are taking a stand-up uh, karate, kempo, you know, some other type of stand-up art, and mm-hmm. then they maybe go somewhere else, or maybe their school offers today some jujitsu on the ground, et cetera, right? Or some wrestling, you know, so people obtain different aspects of uh, different martial arts. Well, we work and by the way, Commando Krav Maga is one of a, a, a several or a few Krav Maga associations in the world. Right. Um, we, uh, I believe, to be a little bit more um, 
progressive, meaning that we have evolved our techniques. So Amy Lichtenfield was the founder of Krav Maga. Mm -hmm. Came to actually um, the United States in 1968, I believe it was, um, to train the Illinois State Police um, for, for the, the, his first really? training. So we work, what is Krav Maga? We work, we defend against guns, knives, any mm -hmm. other improvised type weapon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we, we work against standing and ground choking and grabs. It's about survival, not grappling, right? It's about mm -hmm. survival, not grappling. It's about getting up off the ground, getting away, right? We have a rule, five second rule. If you're on the ground, five seconds to get back up. Um, and of course, we work on any other types of strikes. So we're working four different types of phases, right? Guns, knives, standing and ground survival, and any other type of punching and kicking and things like that. And mm -hmm. reality-based self-defense, when, so, when a practitioner, by the way, so we secretly teach martial arts, right? Everyone eventually yes. becomes a martial artist. Yes. So <laughs> I don't tell anybody that, right? If right. you stay with it long enough, if, if you're being coached from someone long enough, right? I'm, I, I, um, I, look for, I look for people who want to be an apprentice. Mm -hmm. Most of my students uh, that I've had over time, hey, you're either there a few months or you stay with me seven, eight years. It's amazing. Right. It's amazing. Right. Right? And, it, and it's on both ends, right? It's on both ends. It's right. on both it, ends. It's, right? it's, like, it's like you love it and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be now the master. You're, you're, you're teaching me to, you know, to, uh, uh, to do this and teach. So, so you know, we, we work on survival. Um, Krav Maga is, is, is not about fighting. So if you go take karate or something, right, at least specifically commando Krav Maga, we're less about mm -hmm. punching and kicking. We're not about staying in the fight because um, no matter who you are, whether you're a five foot one woman at 110 pounds or whether you're a six foot four, 250 pound man, right? Mm -hmm. Someone's always going to be bigger and stronger than you. We're going to get older, right? Um, and, and by the way, the techniques in the system, right? Our system work, whether you're five, one, six, four, 16 or 60, okay? Or 90, right? Hopefully, right? But we also promote staying in shape throughout your life, right? So it's not just about, yes. it's not just about learning self-defense techniques. That's great. And I, I don't want to see, you know, I, I have a lady that I'm teaching privates right now before she goes off to college in New York City, actually, Pace University. And uh, uh, it's great to come and get 20 hours of training. Those things are good. It builds empowerment and confidence, mm -hmm. and because self-defense is actually one piece at the end of the day, of right. understanding that you know I, I can empower myself, whether it's a women-specific program or anybody for that matter. But um, Krav Maga um, has some concepts and principles behind it too. Like I said, five-second rule. It's not about fighting, and it's very holistic across the board. Every level we have, you're learning, um, progressing through. Um, more ways to defend harder situations mm -hmm. and you're learning concepts and principles. So that means you're not sitting there and fighting someone, jab, cross, hook, bob and weave, slip and things right. of that nature, right? You were learning concepts and principles. So when someone attacks you a way that you've never seen before, you have the tools to actually do something. Right. And um, what is reality-based self-defense? It's about being attacked in the street, not in the ring, right? right? So you can go to, and there's nothing wrong. I train jujitsu. Right. I, gra I train grappling and striking. So we still add those as great components to what we do. But right. the bottom line is the fight out, outside that you're going to be involved with is not, right. there's no one there to throw in the towel. There's no referee. Right. And people are evil. People are evil at times. I can go there, more. There, the, I've always said that there's always evil in the world. Yes. I can go more on, you know, about, aspects of attackers too but um i think that sums up a little bit uh, like what reality-based self-defense is and if if someone's looking for that instead of a traditional martial art either for their child or themselves which by the way you know i ask people what are you looking for mm -hmm. why are you here what specifically do you want out of your martial art because it, it is a martial art still Krav Maga, reality-based self-defense, is mm -hmm. still a martial art. You're still learning pieces right. of different things, right? And uh, if it's because, you know, most of the time, right, most of my clients, they're not 20-year-old kids. They can be, right? But, but, right. but they're not. The average person, right, 
wants to learn self-defense. The average person wants a community of practice to be with, ladies to be around, that they can have conversations to get out of the house, right? right. Or just people to get together to have a good time, to have something common and right and to get together at the end right. of the day or part of that community, right? Um, you still have some of those, you know, younger persons that want to learn how to fight and maybe uh, go to tournaments and stuff. That's awesome to do. I encourage people to do that, but that's not us. And at the end of the day, that person, by the way, will probably want to come around when they're a little bit older and, and maybe learn a little bit about what we do as well. Because no matter what, even if you're amazing, even if you're Mike Tyson, I've always said this, by the way, I'm going to throw it out. I'm gonna go ahead, go out. for it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, will take, I will take two other students of mine that I've trained with for years, right? And go fight right. Mike, Mike Tyson. By the way, now he's supposed to be coming back for a fight, right? I think or, he's fighting Evander Holyfield. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was going to say, I'll, I'll fight Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, or George St. Pierre <laughs> um, with two of my best friends in the ring. Really? And, and it, oh, absolutely. Because I, I, I strongly believe two or three of us can defeat him. Right? <laughs> right? No, no, That's no, great. Because, That's great. Because, because it's no longer a fight that they're used to. They're, training, right. for, they're training for rounds that are very specific with rules. Right. Yeah, that's that it's 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 a much different situation at that at that particular point. I totally I totally get it. I love that. Yes, he is gonna be fighting Evander Holyfield coming up. Uh, okay. Um, so we're discussing the what. Why do you do what you do? What was that motivating factor? Was there a specific incident in your life that you said, you know what, this is important for me to teach individuals? Yeah, so, so there, there, there's, there was no like one aha moment for me mm -hmm. that said, uh, um, this is what I want to do in life. Um, I will say that <clears throat> um, for all my life, I have, I have done, uh, my business is who I am, right? Uh, my business is what I have done <clears throat> in my life from, mm -hmm. from little league football to high school football, mm -hmm. captain all the way, leading people, leading teams, going in the Marine Corps, mm -hmm. um, excelling through uh, the time that I was there, going to law enforcement, you know, uh, becoming an FBI agent, um, all the way to being the law enforcement advisor of the attorney general now, all right? And so it's, it's about, it's about um, myself, wanting the best for me, right? Mm -hmm. Wanting the best for me. And as I sought out different aspects of coaching in my life, finding the best people that I wanted in certain areas. Okay. So I've trained with some of the very best people in jujitsu, mm -hmm. in Krav Maga, mm -hmm. in kettlebell, in sandbag, right? And um, they're not just like in your backyard. They're worldwide. So mm -hmm. I have sought out who I believe to be some of the best coaches that I can um, achieve, spending thousands and thousands of dollars, right, on my own personal growth. And now I want to right. package that and share my lifelong journey with mm -hmm. people. That, that's what it's about. It's about me sharing my lifelong journey with people. And if I, can right. 20X, if I can 20X someone else's time that it's taken me, right, a lifetime, mm -hmm. and if mm -hmm. someone wants to come to like an – an inner circle mastermind with me, right? And spend uh, an intensive like six months coaching twice a month, come out and visit me every other month, right? For the, the entrepreneur or the person that's right. just interested in doing something like that, right? If I can take what I've learned in my life and give it to other people and they can 20X themselves to be 1% better every day in every way, make them help, help them achieve their goals, have better relationships in their life, right? Uh, or do something that's very meaningful for them, that's what I want to provide to people, right? Because to me, it's about, uh, it's about giving and sharing. Uh, mm -hmm. We are not going to be here forever. We are all mortal. And uh, as we get about, older, we, we start to realize that. <laughs> yeah, right. right. And so it's about sharing. It's about sharing what I right. know with others that are willing to come along. I, I love that. I love that. It's explanation. passion, right? Yeah, it's, it's passion. the passion. That's the passion that you have. And, and for our listeners, what you're what you're hearing from uh, Dennis is this passion and, and how he, he's, he's gone from high school football and, and being the captain of the team, Marines, law enforcement, FBI, now to the Attorney General of the United States of America. I mean, you know, you have to have a passion. And now he's sharing with that. He's sharing that with us. And that's special. 
And that leads us into the next, that leads me into my next question now. Now, now let's break down your, your, your business here and discuss coaching. Why, why do we need a coach? Why is that important? So I, I knew we were going to get to this. So I, there was one piece that I printed out from online that I'm actually going to read to the listeners too, because it's, uh, it. it, it's, it's, it's a popular topic always in coaching um, programs. Um, coaching for lots of things, whether it's mindset or unbeatable mind, John Maxwell, Tony mm-hmm. Robbins, anybody, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, and I've learned from all those, the best, right? Mm-hmm. Um, International Coaching Federation, though, is, is a is a um, entity and it's an association which someone can belong to if they so choose, right? Um, so a lot of people use their definition of coaching. And uh, so coaching, right? Um uh, the, inter- the ICF, the International Coaching Federation, describes coaching as partnering with others, a creative process that inspires them to maximize their personal and professional potential. A coach actively participates in strategizing for the creation of successful outcomes and results for clients. This happens through regular scheduled periodic meetings, check-ins, et cetera. I can go on from there, right? Mm-hmm. So a coach is not an expert necessarily in what you do. So if someone's a business owner, you work for GE, right? Or whenever, any big company, any, you know, um, top, you know, 100, 500 company, right? Mm-hmm. And you're looking to excel yourself and you don't have to be, right? Anyone can have a coach. I've taught moms make decisions on whether to adopt another baby in their life, right? Things of that nature, right? Everybody has use for a coach. Mm-hmm. But uh, um, I've used coaches. I still, I, I have two coaches right now that I'm using personally for my business to grow mm-hmm. my business. Right. Um, but everybody needs it in order to grow. Everyone needs to be around a coach because no one is, you can't ask yourself those questions. You don't know what to ask yourself. A coach is going to engage you in ways and ask you questions that are what we call your boo. It's a background of obviousness. To everybody but you at right. times, okay? Things that are going on inside you, right? So they're going to have you uh, do homework, right? Mm-hmm. Do meditation, breath work, journal, set goals in different aspects like the physical, mental, the emotional, the spiritual, right? right. Business goals, goals with relationships, and then journal and, and knock those dominoes down, right. right? Create a process that works for you that's repetitive. A coach should only see you for six to 12 months, maybe on a rare occasion, 24, um, uh-huh. it, depending on how someone's working with a coach, right? Um, but you should be getting, and this is what I love to say to people too, by the way. So I have programs. What does that mean? I don't run classes, right? I run programs. I have a coaching program. I have a 12 month program in the gym, right? I'm about teaching you so when COVID happens right Mm -hmm. and you have stress and anxiety and the gyms are closed you actually have the tools right to do your workout at home to do your yoga at home to do your sandbag workouts at home your kettlebell workouts at home right right to eat well still to understand right um uh that's why you need a coach right um how about yourself coaches Coaches, yeah, I mean, it's much different than having a, a. It's much different than having a mentor, right? So it's very different. It's very different. I'm glad. I'm glad you said that, right? So, and I kind of hit on a very, or maybe in my mind, I wanted to go there, right? So a mentor, a coach is going to not be specific on. It could be, but it, it, overall, they're not going to have your expertise or specialty. I'm not a chiropractor, right? But maybe you want to excel your chiropractic business. I actually, right. by the way, Dan. One of my clients currently, and it, we're in the 12th month. I have one last session with her coming up. She's a chiropractor, she's a chiropractor. And, and runs a business. Um, she's getting coaching from me, right? To excel her business in different ways in order to grow. And then also take uh, Krav Maga, self-defense, fitness, grappling, striking. And you know what? You want to know how old she is, Dan? Tell me. 59. 59. She's just my age. That's great. <laughs> but that's so great. My, my point to people too, right? She's not your average 59 year old. And, and for people that are out there saying, we're going to get to the mentoring. I, I get excited so I can go all over the board here. Right? Yeah, that's but, okay. That's all good. But, but 
it, you know, I'm too fat. I don't have enough money. Right. I can't do that. Limiting beliefs, whatever. That whatever internal dialogue that's whatever, going on. Whatever issues that people have, that's why you need a coach. Right. Right. That's why we need a coach. No matter, no matter what it is, like, again, I can, I can go on and on with all different types of things that we hear from people. I can't because I don't have the time. Wow. Um, how about making 30 minutes for yourself a day? Right. Start with 30 minutes for yourself, right? So um, age, oh, I'm too old for that. Really? Um, right. I can never lose the 80 pounds I've gained. You're kidding yourself. People can lose 80 pounds in six months if they really want to, right? Now, you're not going right. to lose it overnight. No. Nope. If, if, if weight loss is your goal, you know that from being a doctor, right? And That's right. In the, in the nutrition. But a mentor, a mentor might be someone, though, that if, if we're talking, a chiro, I'm a chiropractor, let's just say, then maybe I go talk to someone else who is also a chiropractor or another doctor, for that matter, right. to, to just have some conversation. Um, it could be a lifelong relationship with a mentor, not right. six or 12 months or 24 months, right? They generally may have expertise in your field, right? In your right. field. Um, they can provide you uh, clarity on, on questions that you have. Um, right. They might be able to identify some blind spots. They, they can do some things a coach can do about helping you maybe excel your career. Right. Also, right. <laughs> right. A coach is about growth, though. They're about you setting goals and you knocking down those goals. Right. Um, the mentor, maybe they help develop a plan for you. Maybe you have some discussions. Maybe that it's someone you can call to be accountable. So th right. there are some aspects of it that can be close, <laughs> but, but, but they're not going to be on the one that's on the, the weekly call, the biweekly call, and have the specific strategies, tools, and practicing that they're right. working with the client. And that takes us to one step farther. Um, I didn't mention this in my book. I probably should have, but family. And so, yes. And friends, family and friends, because family and yes. friends, yes. <laughs> overall, they're going to tell you what you want to hear. Okay? Yes, they do. They're going to tell you what you want to hear, or they're just going to totally disagree with you and tell you, you can't do that. Well, that's most right? of the time, right? That is yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> that's they're most the of the ones, time. They're the ones holding you back. Yes. They're the ones holding you back. You know what? So my advice is, and look, I, look, I know you have a teenager. <laughs> I did too. Not, not your, he's he, he's going to be thirteen in a couple of few months. So, yeah, but okay. he's acting he's acting like that teenager right now. So as we get older, <laughs> we think you know around that time period, a couple more years, he's going to fifteen, sixteen. I know everything, right? <laughs> Dennis, he has typical. that now. <laughs> That's typical, right? I'm in trouble. But, you know, it, all of us are on social media these days, probably in some aspect too. And right. there's a whole lot of people that think they know stuff, right? Right. And um, what I will say is uh, um, this comes down to having mental clarity, spending time with yourself, again, with breath work, meditation, mm -hmm, setting goals, mm -hmm. having an integrated warrior training plan. I call it integrated warrior, integrated training plan, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. For yourself on what you want to work on. If you're not working on a training plan to have goals, right? You have no plan. What do you have? Right. What do, you, what do you have, Dan? If I don't have a plan, if I'm not working towards something, what, what do I have? Nothing. You're, you're, you're just living day to day, whichever way that day wind day. is going, that's the way that you're going. So, so this, this, you know, this, we get involved, you know, one of the famous things that I say in the other conversations that we have, some of this stuff will be repeated because it, it, it it's again, integrated. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. integrated. You can't have one without, if you want to best work on yourself, you need an integrated training plan. And you must work with others in order to succeed. No one that's been successful in their life has done it alone. Mm -hmm. No one has done anything successful alone. Right. In order to go far, you must go together. A coach co-creates with people. They don't tell you what to do. I love that. Yes. Um, and then, you know, obviously joining communities of practice um, as well. And a coach should help you do some of those things, right? And, and, right. and it might be part of your mental or emotional training or doing right. some other work that the coach has, right? Um, other people. And when you bring your – another step forward would be moving from the coach, right, and, and, and having mentors in your life, communities right. of practice, people that are like-minded, right. but moving to an inner circle. Right. Everyone has one. So it just depends where you want to be. 
my inner circle, right, is people that I love, some you know, very handful of close people that are around me that I surround mm -hmm. myself with. And again, some of the coaching that I belong to in time. And that may change. I may be part of an inner circle last year and this year and next year have something else too, right? Right, but sure. You, you must surround yourself with people that you want to be, right? It's about surrounding yourself with people that you want to be. Right, it's, those it's the sum already, of those. It's the sum of the, what it was, it's seven, 11 people that you most associate with. That's who you are and what you I've will heard, I've heard in the coaching world, a lot of the discussion is about eight, actually. So a group right. of eight. And so, I don't know, you know and the, from different studies that have been done, right? So it can be as little as three or four. And right. I would say it can be as high as 10 or 12, right? Um, but when you start to get a little bit bigger than that, um, you start to lose some of the discussion. That's mm -hmm. all. And, and so inner, inner circles, right? Inner circles have a, another value, right? Um, it provides a different level of, of collaboration that people can move to in order to obtain information that I don't know mm -hmm. in order to grow. Again, it's learning from someone who's already been there, um, mm -hmm. their successes, their failures, right? Mm -hmm. And that can be specific again. It could be an inner circle to um, chiropractic work. It can, be, mm -hmm. it can be specific to growth. Right. Something that you want to work on. Um, like any time it could be, I've always wanted to cook. So I'm going to go and right. Or I'm, I've always wanted to dance. I, I just, it's a passion that I never, Wh feel whatever, good. whatever that passion is yeah. you're making, you're making those positive lifestyle changes. You're finding as a coach, you're finding those passions and you're bringing them to that and, and you're making them, you know, realize what they can do that 20 X as an individual. I love that. Listen, but extend, almost, extending your network too, right? Extending your network right. for the business owner or, or anybody, even, even if it's a, a, a mom at home again. I will equate things always from like a mom at home or like the mom in the boardroom, right? right? Because it can be the same person or two different right. people that are still ex expanding their network, right? And, and learning because it's, uh, it's right. all about the I, the individual growing 1% better every day in every way. So, so... Yeah. I'm looking at the time. We've been almost at this for almost 50 minutes. I have a ton more questions and I can go on for hours with this. So we're going to have you back on, but let's yeah. talk about your book. Let's talk about your business. What services do you offer? So, so the book, um, the book is uh, kind of like what my business was. I said, I, I said that my business is, is who I am uh, and what I do and, and my life, my lifelong journey. Right. Mm -hmm. So the book, the book describes uh, what that is, by the way. So chapter one is who I am. Um, mm -hmm. The reader will get a better understanding of who I am. And by the way, every chapter has a little homework assignment for the reader. That's so great. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the first one, right? And so after you, after you read who I am, I ask you to sit down and write who you are. Who, who, who are we? Yes, that's great. Who, who, who is, you know, so if you're reader, if you're, if you're people that watch the right. podcast, right, eventually pick up the book someday, it's about identifying who I am. And by the way, you change. You are a different person today than you were a year ago, right? That's why they say when you read a book today, it's different than you were a year ago, right? If we're growing. So I should say if we're growing, right? So when we right. talk about coaches and mentors, right? People that aren't doing these types of things. And look, no fault of their own. We all have choice. Go back and have a conversation like with an old friend. And you might find out, hey, really haven't changed so much since college or high school. Right? And there are a lot of them that are like that. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, it's the value that people uh, choose to spend and how they're, how they're choosing to spend. So you can do all those things in my bio. It's not a really big deal, actually, right? If you just continue to knock those dominoes down and continue to grow and do different things, right? Right, right, right. So people, yeah. So um, um, what is the book? It goes from who I am. It talks about growth in chapter two, um, growth in general, why it's important right, in our lives, and uh, it talks about some concepts and principles of, of growth. And then we mm -hmm. move on to strategies, tools, and practices. I might have the chapters mixed up, right? Uh, actually, I think we move on to integrated training plan for people first, creating mm -hmm. a training plan. So the homework in there is for you to create your own training plan, by the way. Mm -hmm. So we're, the book's not like, you can't live on the book alone to, to say, I'm going to read this book, and, and I'm going to be good to go. But it, right. it, but, it, but it gives people enough. It teaches people box breathing. It teaches people about concentration, right? So right. they can add, it teaches people about a morning ritual, right? right? And then we ask you to do your morning ritual for yourself, right? So who I am, growth, 
training plans, strategies, tools, and practices. Uh, we talk about reality-based self-defense, the concepts and principles of, of uh, the, the reality-based mm -hmm. system that we teach. We talk about fitness and nutrition and how functional fitness is, is, where, is what right. we promote in our lives, right? You don't need to go to a gym. Nope, you don't need to go to a gym, right? It's about learning from that coach. Now, look, I'm not saying that some people need to go there for um, – commitment for for right. i'm going to show up you know it's a commitment to right. you're showing up and you're doing something yes. accountability yes it, it, it could be going for part of that community of practice right but what i'm saying is that's great stuff too but you don't have to go right you can do right. some of your work at home or take some of what you learn right from a coach and, and do it do it in the gym too right we talk about nutrition in there i promote a specific diet i, I promote fasting and the health benefits from fasting we, we finish with a chapter on leadership Mm -hmm. um, to talk about leadership traits because I believe that it's very important to know uh, uh, some very specific things that you should be promoting as an individual, as a leader. Mm -hmm. We're all leaders no matter where we're at. Um, at the beginning, I, I skipped a very important phase too, right? We start out with um, our why. We identify our why, our purpose, passion, principles, our stand. Yep. Um, and, yes. I finish, and I finish and I finish with my obituary. I've already written my obituary. So... I, I, I read about this and how do you want to be remembered? What have you accomplished? What is your legacy yeah. and what have you given to all of us? So we have a choice ourselves, right? To write our own script mm -hmm. or have someone else do it. It's that easy. We, we, we want to do it for ourselves. We don't want anybody else to do it. Yeah, that, right? For sure. I mean, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a given. I think we could have a podcast on each chapter, Dennis. I think. Oh, I, I, I definitely, I, there's a definitely enough material to have a podcast on each chapter. I think and, we're going to uh, have, I'm just thinking out loud and, you know, I think we're going to have a podcast because Dennis is going to send me the book where, you know, I'm going to read it and then we're going to have a podcast because this is interesting, fascinating stuff. Now, so lastly, go ahead. Oh, go, go ahead. One more. I, I want to talk about the services still too. Before go ahead. That's what I'm off. saying. Go. What are, what are the services that you, uh, <laughs> That you, uh, really that you appreciate offer. It. So if, if people are in the area, we do offer a yearly program, right? We, I move to, to people that are uh, committing to themselves as a yearly program, 12 months. And, and uh, um, I care about people, right? I want to see them succeed. I don't need anyone coming for two to three months. And then ah, I'm too busy. I don't have time or whatever. Commit to mm -hmm. yourself and you will see growth, right? Mm -hmm. um, we can go more into, on why people need to commit to themselves um, too. But mm -hmm. a weekly program, right, that those people on that 12-month program come to, um, I also, though, um, in, in, that, in that program, by the way, they not only get reality-based self-defense, grappling, striking, yoga, they get a monthly experience. That monthly experience can be a physical challenge, a mental challenge, an emotional challenge. It can be, give, be giving a presentation on like the big four mental toughness or some other mm -hmm, type mm -hmm. of uh, um, criminal justice type thing that's uh, safety in the community. Um, and, my, and my people get a yearly camp. I also have yearly camps, two days, right? Yes, in two days, you can come and learn self-defense especially the reality-based self-defense. I didn't mention this. Our self-defense, right? Krav Maga in general, reality-based self-defense is two to three gross motor skills. It's not taking eight, nine, 10 steps. So in a very short amount of time, people can learn something and keep it right. with them for a long time. Uh, in addition to two-day camps, uh, I have a four-day immersion camp. Mm -hmm. It includes the two-day self-defense, but we add on a day of coaching at the front end. We create an integrated worry training plan for people. I sit down with them one-on-one -on -one, uh, in, in that as well. And the last day we have, uh, on, the, on that fourth day, we're teaching various aspects of that functional fitness, handbag, kettlebell, things of that nature. So we're, in four days, we're teaching people what we do in general in, in, the, in, the, in the dojo, in the gym, in the business, right? I also offer one-on-one -on -one and group coaching, uh, particularly, mostly we push on people mind coaching for people. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just the best place to start. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm a, a member of the first cohort of uh, Mark Devine on Bill Mines' team. And um, as you know, I'm going through the program right now. So it's, it and, is. Uh, mm -hmm. It's phenomenal. I, I encourage, you know, uh, people get the book, get the book, start with the, start with the book on Bill Mines. Um, I also have some online programs. Um, so six week challenges uh, online on my website, modern era, ERA warriors.com. Right. Uh, that people can, uh, it's for both self-defense women's self-defense, fitness, top 20 yoga techniques. Most of it's breathing, by the way, because I said mm -hmm. breathing is important. Yes. And now that the book is done, 
one of my coaches I'm seeing is actually an audio and video consultant that I'm being coached with. I will be having shortly, it's a short to medium range goal uh, online subscription for those that can't be with me on that weekly basis mm-hmm. um, to have a subscription online. That is great. Now, now, now we're almost at the end and I'm, I'm just beginning. However, we're going to have you back on and you know, how can my listeners, I recommend Dennis, when the book comes out, purchase the book, get his online, get there. I'm going to be thinking about when I'm going to do this four day immersion. So I want everybody, all my listeners to start, okay, following Dennis, get the book, get going with him. This is important work to do. How can my listeners contact you? Yeah, so um, a couple different ways. You can go to modernerawarriors.com and uh, you can see all the things that we've talked about today. The book will be on that first page and should be there, I'm hoping, in about two to three weeks. Um, and, uh, nice. It, it, it's, I have the PDF copy, so it's all about just reading it one last time. And then it goes up on Amazon. I need to get some reviews and it will, it will be there as well. So my book funnel guy is working on it and, and uh, <laughs> it'll be there very shortly. But uh, right. um, Or you can just email me, uh, Dennis Stoika. Uh, D-E-N-N-I-S-S-T-O-I-K-A at modern era, era warriors.com uh, with any questions that you have to. And, and uh, I am happy. I want to thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you. This promote, is... help, helping me promote our services. Um, just like you um, provide services to people um, that make them healthier, um, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually as well in all different aspects of your own entrepreneurship. Um, that, and by the way, uh, I, I will, I will finish with this again. I don't go it alone either. When I, when I have other people that I work with, right. We, we use each right. other in our network, right. To help out as well. The people that we trust and programs that we love and promote as well. So thank you. Dennis, thank you for being on all my listeners. Please follow Dennis, get the book, get, get, get into the online program. I recommend this 100%. It is truly an honor and a pleasure to have you on. I look forward to the book and I look forward to reading it and I look forward to having a podcast on each chapter so that we can explain more of what you're doing. This was like a, 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 an overview. Like, it was like an overview. Of, of, overview. Of, this, 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 this was an overview. I can go on for hours and hours. So Thank you very we, much. We, we could do a podcast on the big four mental toughness. It would take four hours. So. That's right. And you know what? <laughs> I think what we'll do is we'll do an hour, we get a break, then we'll do another yeah. hour, and we'll, and we'll put them out <laughs> systematically. I love that. So thank you, everybody, for listening. Uh, Destination Health Podcast. Dennis, thank you very much. Everybody, make it a great day, and we'll see everybody soon. Take care now. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye.